Happy weekend, everyone. Today I wanted to play with, um, I've told you one of the fun things about, that I like to do during this season changes I've been talking about. And one of the ways I like to use my, let me pan up a bit here, so you're not so close, is one of the things I love about this Artisto pad uh, that I'm always sharing with you is I put almost a lot of notes and I play with a lot of different palette colors in here. So today I want to play with, these are some from the past that I actually kind of took out of here, where I was trying to get some terracotta colors for um, fall, for some fall paintings I want to share with you all. Um, so that's always really great reference in these Artisto pads as well. And I note the date and the season, and then they're all right here for me. So today I wanted to play with, I just thought I'd share with you, maybe give you some ideas on some of these colors, because I really love this color. I want to create these like peachy pink type colors, and I happened to find a couple paints in my paint collection. So I thought, let's mix those with some uh, pinks and see what we can get. So this one was an interesting one I found. It's actually a gouache and it's called Pale Rose Blush. So it's like a fleshy color, which I think when I was doing commissions and doing some faces, that's why I had purchased it. But I'm gonna mix it with some opera roses and rose red, matter red in the Mylang palette and see what we get. And then this is just the Zinc White uh, Windsor Newton gouache. I found that. And this one I hadn't used in a long, long time. This is a buff titanium and it's like this, um, what color would you call it? Uh, well, you'll see. I'm not even sure what color to call it. It's this color you can see on here. Um, so anyway, we're going to play with those. And just really encouraging you to take paints out and kind of mix them together and see what you get. Um, and that's what I'm going to do today. So using my My Lane palette, <coughs> excuse me, which you know I love. And... Um, I think I'm going to be playing with these two colors, which is their matter red and their rose red. Uh, their matter red reminds me of that opera rose for Windsor Newton. And I'm using um, my nice palette here from Meaden. And I've got my two containers of water, which really I should probably change that, but that's okay. Okay, so let's start playing here. And then what's so nice about, you know, these little Artisto pads is you can refer back to these. And I can pick up, say we I start heading into spring, I can pick up my spring book and look at the flowers, look at the colors and all that kind of stuff. I make notes as to what I um, mix to get certain colors. All right, so let's start with, I'm going to pick up and show you, you know what, I think I'm going to go with the matter red. So I've got my brush wet, and I already sprayed my paints, by the way, for you beginners. Just spray your paints to activate them if you're using pans. And... I've actually got some in my wonderful palette here. Just add a little bit more water. There we go. So I'm going to give you what it looks like at its darkest value, which is this really beautiful consistency. And by the way, today I'm using my six long round. It's a Princeton Velvet Touch. And I love the Velvet Touch because they just feel so nice in your hands. And I'm going to lay down that color. So there you go. It's quite, it's almost, I always think of it as like a Merlot. <coughs> so sorry, I have a little bit of a cough today for some reason. And then I'm going to go into it. Let's first combine it with Buff. So this one's actually a, a 
Daniel Smith color. So what I'm thinking is I must have seen it somewhere because I'm normally a Winsor Newton type of gal, but I must have seen it somewhere. So I've got a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna start mixing that in. Now keep in mind that I'm going in with some pretty dark values. I'm gonna wash and rinse my brush a bit, tap it off, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit more of that. Now I've got way too much there, way too much water, and just start mixing that. So there you go. Let's maybe add in a tiny bit more. I don't want to put this in a well because I probably won't use it again. If that was a color I use frequently, I would just go ahead and put it in my well. I'm going to pick up a little water. And then I like to see how light I can get the value to. So I kind of pull it out here. So look at that. That's really a beautiful kind of I'm old school, so back in the 80s, we had what we called a dusty mauve, and that's what it was called. So now I'm going to make a note of what that is. So these were, this is my color board, color palette, whatever you'd like to call it. And um, this is my, my Lang palette I'm using so that I know it wasn't Winsor Newton. And I went in with their Matter Red plus <clears throat> buff titanium. Buff titanium, which is a Daniel Smith. And look at that beautiful color I got. Now you could even pull it out more just to see the paler um, values you could get, but we're gonna move on because the now what I wanna do <clears throat> is I'm going to pick up Let's use the rose red, or I'm sorry. You know what, that that wasn't matter red. That was rose red. No, I'm sorry, hold on. I think my, my paints in here got switched. Um, okay, so now that was matter red. Now I'm gonna use the rose red, which to me is like, Kind of a cross between a Quinn Magenta and an Opera Rose. So look how pretty that is. This was a little bit more like a Merlot, to me a little bit warmer. So there is the Rose Red. Wash and rinse my brush. And I'm also, let's actually play with this Pale Rose Blush Gouache, Windsor Newton. I don't usually use gouaches because I am just so in love with watercolors and I like how they're so transparent, but let's see. I really actually liked this color. And again, I think this was when I was painting a lot of faces. So look at already, I really like that color. I'm gonna wash and rinse my brush just meaning wash it in water, get most of the paint off, then put it into the rinse side of my uh, water container here. So I'm washing in this water and then just rinsing it to make sure all that paint's off. Because watercolors are so transparent, you don't wanna carry over. If I went into a yellow with pink on my brush, it would make the yellow look orange, right? All right. So that's really pretty, actually. I really like that. Now I just have some water on my brush and I'm just pulling it out a little bit to get a lighter value. So I just rinsed my brush again. And look how beautiful that is. That would be really, really pretty. Okay, so that one I'm going to mark. This is my My Lang palette. And I used Rose Red plus my Winsor Newton Pale Rose Blush. Pale Rose 
blush and I really like that color. So if I ever wanted to recreate these, I have my notes right here. Let's go in with, um, here's a fun one. Let's pick up our Sienna. Wait, hold on a minute here. Let me grab my Sienna color. Yeah, that's pretty. And that's kind of, I really like this color actually. It's like an orangey, orangey, pale brown. And I know this looks odd, but watch how pretty this is. So we've got that glaze of Sienna. And now I'm gonna go into my rose red and let's add that. Look how beautiful those two colors are. Let me mix them a little bit more. I think that's a really beautiful orangey color. Pick up a little bit more, add in a little bit more of that. I think that's really pretty. It's almost like a terracotta color, which I love. And that's a pretty fall color. So there you go, look at that. Those are three really pretty colors. So let me write that down. So that one was, uh, let's see, we used Sienna. Actually, that might've even been a yellow Sienna in my lane. Plus, our rose red, which is my laying. And look at that beautiful color. Isn't that pretty? And I always pull out a little with some water. Now let's see what the white does. So I'm going to, let's see, let's do, let's try that rose red and then add in some white and see, it's gonna probably look a little bit like this. So gouache is always a little bit chalkier versus just using water to get that light. So here's our rose red, beautiful, beautiful, kind of that opera rose type color, which is one of my favorites. Wash and rinse my brush. And then let's use just a tiny bit of this white. Not too much, because gouache is pretty thick. You can tell I never use this because it's kind of hard. And let's mix that in. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. So it's also a light pink. Wash and rinse my brush, and let's just pull it out a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to add in a tiny bit of rose red to the top here. Pull it down and mix it a little bit. There we go. Wash, I just keep washing and rinsing my brush. Really wanted to see how light I could get it though. Yeah, so look at that value. Isn't that beautiful? That's really pretty. Okay, so let me write down what that is. That was my rose red, which really in um, your Winsor Newton palette could be uh, opera rose. And I added white gouache. And I got this really beautiful light pink color. Let's play again. Let's try maybe a burnt sienna. See what that does. That's quite a bit a darker. Brown. So let's just get that on there. This is my laying. There we go. And now let's add some of that. And this is how you discover some really beautiful colors. Here's our rose red, and now let's start mixing the two of those together. So wash and rinse my brush, dab it off, and we'll start mixing the two. So that's a really pretty color too. Wash and rinse my brush. A little bit more water on there. 
And look how pretty that is. Yeah, I actually really like that as well. I'm always a fan of um, mixing your browns and pinks. I think it's so pretty because it's kind of earthy, but yet you've got that pop. So let's mark that one down. That was, to be honest, that was a little bit of a burnt sienna. And it might've had a, a little touch of uh, burnt umber in there plus rose red. Okay, and look at that. So I've got a pretty nice palette here of these different colors that I really like. Let's just pull that out a little bit more because I like to see how light it can get. And I think that's a good palette. So try this out and see what you come up with. Now, um, this was that matter red. Um, let's just play, how about if we try that matter red with, let's see, let's mix that with, what color do I have here? Pure Rose Blush. We could try that. Or I want to do something a little bit different. So how about if we mix that matter red with, there we go, wash and rinse my brush, and mix that with our Sienna. Let me grab that. And let's, oop, that was a little too dark in value. Sorry, that was the wrong one. We could mix it with that too, but I really wanted to get the lighter color because I love it. So this is what they're kind of calling a yellow sienna. Let's see, how can I fix this? There we go. So it's adding a little bit of this gold color to it. Ooh, look at that. That actually is beautiful. I really like that. Wow. I'm going to wash and rinse my brush. And we'll just add some water to the bottom here. And pull it down. That is gorgeous. Okay, so see, this is why I do this. Because it gives me an idea. Now, this was the burnt sienna and the rose red, which was really pretty. But look at that. That is a beautiful holiday color for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, to make some really gorgeous um, berries and things. I think it's just beautiful. So that's something I wanted to share with you today for maybe your fall. Grab your little... Um, uh, artisto pads and start playing with some of these colors. So let me see, this was Matter Red, which is my Lang. I remember these, so I don't write them in there. Plus, um, let's see, that was the Yellow Sienna. And then on all of them, I just kind of pulled them out to get more water to get a different value. But look at how beautiful that palette would be. I think that would be really pretty. Those are all kind of um, in the same color category, but yet some subtle differences. So play with something like this for your um, seasons. And again, this one I kind of had in mind, I wanted to mix some of those beautiful pinks with some earthy browns, and this was perfect for me. And then I also wanted to play with, and I'll, I'll link these for you. I bought these quite a long time ago, and I just found them in my paints and thought, might as well play with them a little bit so I can use them. All right, so there you go. Uh, have fun with that, and I will link my brushes and my paper and everything for you guys. All right, have a great day.